Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today I'm doing another Mac application review. The name of the game slash application is Bike Baron. It is a Happy Wheels style game in which you'll have user created levels as well as three different difficulty levels, easy, medium, hard, and extreme that is actually four. Uh, you are trying to accomplish each level and collect as many stars going through these levels as possible. This is the kind of home title screen here. You can go to the gear here and uh, change the sound volume, all of the different controls here. You can also link it to Twitter, Facebook, and some other social stuff there. You can turn the ghost on or off. You can change the control setup and see all of your statistics here, which is really awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of this, and let's jump right into it. As I said, uh, this game here, you when you're beating the different levels, you have three different stars you can achieve. Some of them have different achievements like complete two backflips, but you're trying to collect all the coins, beat a specific time, and then there may be one special achievement that you want to unlock on that level to get all three stars. You use the three stars to unlock future levels. Each level requires one star to unlock, so if you get to a point to where the levels become a little more difficult than you can handle, you probably need to unlock a few more of the stars in the easy levels first and then go back and finish some of the harder levels. So as you see here, you have the three different levels, uh, the three different stars. Uh, you reach the finish line, you beat the time, and pick up all the coins. The ones that I did not get are grayed out until I do get them. And of course, you can always go back to try the level again. So with this game here, the levels vary. Uh, you can play user-created levels. You can play levels that are automatically already in the game. Uh, you can see there I just did a front flip. Oh, there we go. Almost uh, died there. And the barrels that you see that are on fire, that is TNT. If you, in any point in time, like I just did there, touch the TNT, you will explode. Now, you will notice little gas pumps throughout the level. These are your checkpoints. When you reach these in the level, you will automatically, when you die, come back to that gas pump. Okay, so there's one right there. And if I died right here, I would automatically come back, like I have here, to that gas pump. So it makes it a little easier. Uh, and again, it allows you to pick up those stars quicker than you may think. Uh, so you're trying to pick up all of the coins throughout the level to achieve that star as well. Uh, as far as level design goes, I absolutely love this game. This game feels really good on the Mac. I've played it on the iPhone as well as the iPad. Both of those versions are a blast as well, but it feels so good to play this on a Mac. Uh, the control scheme is very simple. The uh, up arrow is the gas button. The back arrow is the brake. Left will lean back and right will lean forward. As you see here, I'm playing one of the more difficult levels here. Uh, and as you see, I'm dying over and over again, but I'm just going back and restarting the level until I complete it. Again, I'm not going to accomplish the time trial on this level, but again, I just need to finish the level to accumulate one star from each level. Uh, you'll see little jetpacks throughout the levels. This will uh, give you a temporary speed boost, which is at some points necessary to get past the level. You'll see other obstacles like that little red panel laying on the ground. These can be moved and need to be moved in a lot of the levels. As far as the graphics go, I mean, this is not going to blow you away. Uh, it is running on my MacBook Pro, you know, flawlessly. There are no frame rate issues, anything such as that. The landscapes in which you're playing in vary from a nice snowy mountaintop to the desert uh, to the rainforest. It's all varied in that regard. And here is the level select. So I'm under the easy levels. And as you see here, you can see in an Angry Bird style, if I have accomplished three stars, it'll show three stars. Here is the level editor. You can l edit levels and upload them to the website, the Bike Baron website, and other users can download those levels and play them on their game, which this is, in my opinion, one of the best features of this game. Now, the level editor is not as robust as 
I think it could be. But as far as all of the different stuff you can add to your level, it is very uh, vast. So you can add a, all types of different things. And then once you're done, you can actually change the location and then eventually even test your level. So here uh, I made a very simple level and I tested it just to make sure that it is uh, able to be beaten. And then once I am done there, I can actually go back in and share this level uh, so it can actually be uploaded at a later date off of the Bike Baron website. So once you're here, you just name your level and you have to unlock the different landscapes. And once you've unlocked them, you can use them in the level editor. Once you're here, you'll need to test the level and then click on the share level button and anyone that has this game can actually download your level by just clicking on the download button here and then enter the designated level code for your specific level. Altogether, this game, The Bike Baron, is awesome on the Mac. I love it. Uh, as far as the rating goes, I'd probably give it a 4 out of 5 stars. Uh, there's a few things they could clean up, but as far as the game goes as itself, I love it. See you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.